And this work is really gorgeous. Thank you. And it's indicative of this area. So this yeah. is this is really Marquette centric, is it not? Um, it's it's more Lakes Pier region. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of Marquette just because I live here. Yeah. You know, and that's easy. You know, I don't have to travel. So yeah, there is a lot of Marquette. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, with my my gallery's Lakes Pier photo. So you know, it kind of encompasses the entire. I'm really focusing on the Michigan Lake Superior yeah. region. If you had your way and you could, um, you could spend your time uh, photographing uh, what? Like, I'm, obviously, I'm looking at the night sky here. You, you, you have a relationship with the night sky. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of night sky. Um, it's just there's not a lot of people up at night. So it's quiet and, and, and when you catch the Aurora major display, it's, it's just incredible. Just it, no two Auroras are the same and it's always special. And it's just very calming and uh, just, you know, when you see what you get on, on the camera, on the images uh, with some of these major displays, it just really is incredible. And they're viewed well from where you live? Yes, and that is a big reason, uh, big reason why uh, I've gotten what I've gotten because I'm on Lake Superior facing north. Mm -hmm. So that's the advantage that Marquette has geographically is you're facing north over Lake Superior so there's no obstructions. I've got a 180 degree view of the night sky with no light pollution, no obstructions. So that's a big reason why I'm able to capture what I do. This is uh, taken out in Isle Royal. And it's real. <laughs> <laughs> because somebody may say, come on, is that real? It's totally fake. It's totally fake. I drew it. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally real. Uh, uh, are you familiar with Isle Royale at all? No. You're not? Okay. It's, uh, it's a national park that oh. is the least na visited national park in the country. And it's an island, 45 mile long island. We do a nice guy workshop out there that I'm actually going to be going out there next week. Mm. Um, but I was hiking out to a point called Scoville Point to get a nice view of the North Sky. It's about a three mile hike out. And I waited and I waited and I waited. There's nothing, nothing with the Aurora. So I started hiking back and it was like, you know, getting close to three o'clock in the morning. So uh, as I'm hiking back, I caught some light out of my, the right side of my eye. I'm like, oh, I think the Aurora's happening. So uh, I tried to find a clearing and I finally did, but there was no place to set my tripod because it was all water. So I set my tripod in the water and it was probably in two feet of water, and this substorm happened on Isle Royal. And this was not this location was not scouted out at all. I just got really lucky with this because it's a perfect boreal forest. It's perfect, right? And the, and the reflection is perfect. It's, and I got yeah. the big dipper in there and everything reflecting. So, uh, <laughs> so and I, I managed to uh, capture a time lapse of this as well that just ended up on a National Geographic uh, America's National Parks uh, episode. So, yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Right. That's really right? good. That's so, a yeah. Pro Did you call people and tell them? <laughs> Watch. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay, very good. Because <laughs> I know I so, would. So, <laughs> um, you know, I mean, yeah, this is kind of a special one right here. We had a winter. Uh, 2014, 2013 into 2014, where we had 70 days, 70 plus days below zero. So this is Lake Superior here. So I took a snowmobile out there. Um, it, it, it's over a mile to get to this location. You have to go across a frozen channel. So I'm standing on Lake Superior here. Uh, I positioned myself to line myself up with the North Star over the spire of the lighthouse. This is a really uh, old lighthouse on the Great Lakes. It's one of the oldest ones called Grand Island East Channel Lighthouse. And um, I ran a time lapse for three hours. So this is a composite of three hours of 
15 second exposures. And it was taken at a high ISO, so that's why it's so in your face. <laughs> if I were to do a lower ISO, it would be more aesthetically pleasing, but uh, that's how I did it, and that's how it turned out. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, in your facing pad? What do you mean? <laughs>